CN News at 6 o'clock. The state of Texas investigating an Austin foster care facility. That's after a 13-year-old girl in their care ran away and was sexually assaulted by several men. Court records show the assault happened at the Avalon Palms Apartments in the 9300 block of Northgate Boulevard. That is where the girl told police she was raped by as many as 10 men. Tonight, KXAN's Omar Lewis joins us live from that apartment complex where police were able to catch two of the suspects. Omar? Good evening, Shannon and Robert. Just yesterday morning, several police officers swarmed these apartment complexes right behind me to arrest two men, 24-year-old Juan Ortega and 26-year-old Edgar Perez. Now, they both lived here at this apartment complex, and this is where they brought that 13-year-old girl to sexually assault her for several hours. If I have pepper spray. Holly Howard lives right across the street from the Avalon Palms apartment, the place where police say as many as 10 men sexually assaulted a 13 year old girl. Wow, that's uh, I think that's pretty messed up like and she's only 13. According to court documents, the victim was in foster care, living at the settlement home for children. On June 29th, she says she ran away from the home. But police say she made it only a few blocks down the road before a car pulled up with two men inside and she willingly got in. They don't think anything's up, you know, they go back, you know, just to, for innocent conversation. Or Court documents say the men raped the girl for hours. The next day, they took her back to the settlement home where she told officials what happened. Police have now arrested two men but are looking for several more in a neighborhood Howard says is riddled with crime. Oh, in this neighborhood, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me a bit. Um, there was already an incident at, at another complex across the street. Now this community is hoping police catch the other suspects before something like this happens again. Oh uh, yeah, they need to be locked up and uh, put underneath the cell. That's what needs to happen with that one because she's only 13 and that's bad. Like she didn't even have a chance to grow up pretty much. She's going to be traumatized for, for, for the rest of her life. And both of those suspects are now facing charges of aggravated sexual assault with a child. They are being held at the Travis County Jail on an immigration hold tonight. If you have any information on those other suspects, you're told to contact the Austin Police Department. Tonight, we're live in North Austin. Omar Lewis, KXAN News. All right, Omar, thank you. We have also uncovered that CPS is investigating the settlement home this evening. KXAN's Robert Maxwell has been digging into that part of the story. And we can tell you state investigators are interviewing staff now to find out who is supposed to be supervising the girl and when. And if any state standards were violated that day on June 29th, they'll be included in a non-compliance report. But this state licensing agency cannot take any kind of criminal probe into consideration here. Now, the settlement home is defined as both a child placement and residential therapeutic facility, one of six such agencies in the Austin area. It's been around since 1916. Here's some video from the site. Today, foster children listed as medium to medium high risk are housed at the 10 acre site. The state pays for clients housing as it would any foster home, but the settlement house raises its own funds to operate. Video of this charity garage sale you'll see here in a sec is also on the website. We reached out today to the director of the residential treatment center, Michael Downing. We wanted to know from him the security setup for these kids, how many there are, but Mr. Downing did not want to answer a single question or refer us to somebody else. A state spokesperson, though, says the kids are not necessarily locked down. There are clients older than 18, for example, who live in apartments and can come and go. Now, we also learned today on the State Family Protective Services website, we found seven compliance violations dating from July of 2011 through last December. Several are listed as serious. They include not reporting a child's arrest within 24 hours, not reporting a child's suicide attempt to a hotline, and not reporting a child's suicide attempt to the state licensing agency. And going farther back for you on this, in January of 2011, KXAN reported the settlement home for children placed a 15-year-old girl in the care of a Dripping Springs man who ended up sexually assaulting her. At the man's trial in Hayes County, settlement home staff sat with the family of the accused. And you can see the settlement home's compliance history for yourself with our web story online at KXAN.com. In the studio, Robert Maxwell, KXAN News.